Should you buy an underwater drone? Hello everyone, Dan here from DanceTube.tv and today I'm going to be breaking down an underwater drone that I've been reviewing and testing for the last couple of weeks now. It's called the Gladius Mini from Chasing and I decided to kind of think about where this drone, this underwater drone, could be used in a practical sense. And I was also curious about what kind of target audience underwater drones really stand out to. So enjoy the video, and if you haven't subscribed already, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell, as it will let you know when I upload new videos. I constantly review the latest and greatest tech. I am brutally honest in my reviews. I also have a lot of really fun content that I upload very regularly. So make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you will actually be notified for once. I will have a link in the description below to check out Chasing's official website so you can actually see what the Gladius Mini can do. And then also I'll have an Amazon link if you want to purchase the Gladius Mini. So check those links in the description below. But diving into this unit at its core, it is a drone, an underwater drone with a 4K camera. So you get really decent video quality from the Gladius Mini. I was impressed with the video quality, it was really nice. You also have two LEDs on it so you can light up your subject. Now one thing to remember is underwater drones you have to have a tether, you have to have a cable that runs out to the water. Now this is purely because they have to send a signal to the drone and water is very dense and there's also a lot of stuff going on underwater so it's just going to be extremely unreliable if you don't have this tether. So that means that you need to be very mindful of where you're actually going to be using the underwater drone. You definitely don't want to put the drone out near a beach shore where you're going to have a lot of waves crashing the drone into the sand. You don't want to damage the unit and you're also not going to get any decent footage from doing that. You've also got to be mindful of what's in the water as well because that cable can get tangled up and then you need to figure out how to get it back. So you have to be very mindful of what's around you, especially if there are both Boats coming by, you do not want to have that cable tangled anywhere near the boat at all. You also need to be mindful of any currents as well because the currents could definitely take your drone for a bit of a swim. Now the Gladius Mini has the five thrusters but I still did notice a tiny bit of drift if the current was really heavy. So it does work really hard to hold its position and it does a great job but you do have to be mindful of that and it will also drain the battery significantly quicker than if you're in calm water. Another thing to be mindful of is any Wi-Fi interference that you might encounter in the location that you're trying to send your underwater drone. Now I had a few experiences where the unit itself would disconnect, so there is actually a button on the base unit to switch from 5G to 2.4G, and that just means that you can hopefully navigate away from the other local Wi-Fi channels, but in the ideal situation in a beautiful area, you're probably going to be away from a lot of houses and a lot of signals. So if you're going to send it near some form of reef or some sort of wreck then you're probably going to be a fair distance away from any sort of signal. The Gladius Mini is extremely nimble and agile in the water and I was really impressed with how it performed overall. Now then I started thinking who is this targeted at? Now I obviously spoke about reefs and wrecks and also just some really interesting clear water but you can also check out some interesting ponds or lakes but then you really have to be mindful of how murky the water is. So I had a few issues with murky water in my area, but then I found some really nice clear water, and I'll also be doing some more videos in the future in some very interesting locations, so keep tuned for that. But I started thinking about who else would this be for? So my mind immediately goes towards scuba divers and free divers. So this would be really ideal for them, or people on the surface who are trying to get some cool shots of the fish and the divers. It would also be really handy to scout out certain fishing areas and to see what's going on underneath you instead of just guessing. It's also really handy for swimming pool inspections and pier inspections and also boat inspections as well. So any form of inspection that is underwater would pretty much be ideal for this unit. You could also check out a water tank 
or you could check out tide pools, uh, ocean areas as well with jetties, or alternatively you could literally just send your unit down and try to search for some treasure. That's another option as well. <laughs> so I think when it comes down to it, it really depends on what you actually want an underwater drone for. Now I think the Gladius Mini is a really cool underwater drone and I've enjoyed testing it thoroughly. I'm actually going to be uploading a lot more videos on the channel over the coming weeks, so keep tuned for all of those. And I'm also probably going to dive into some other underwater drones in the future as well, so definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell. But when I think about the practicality of an underwater drone, I think it really depends on your interests. Now if you're one of these people that loves fishing, if you love going camping, if you check out wrecks or reefs quite regularly, or if you're in an industry where you could benefit from inspecting a pool or a pier or a boat, then this unit could be honestly life-changing. You wouldn't even have to jump in the water. You could literally send it down and then light up the beautiful area, whatever it is, with the LED lights, film with that crystal clear 4K camera, and boom, Bob's your uncle. So the question I would be asking myself if I'm considering one of these units would be, where am I located? Am I near a body of water that's clear? Do I regularly go out and check out interesting locations near the water? Do I have an industry that could benefit from me buying one of these? If you answer yes to any of these, then this unit is going to be amazing. But if you don't regularly go near bodies of water or explore new locations, then maybe this isn't the perfect option for you. It still could be a lot of fun though, so it really depends on your needs and really what you do with yourself. So anyway, that's kind of it. Thank you so much for watching. If you do want to check out some more content on some underwater drones, then make sure to subscribe. Make sure to turn on that notification bell. Give this video a massive love heart. Well, thumbs up, not a love heart. A love heart would be handy as well. You could comment a love heart if you want. That's it though. Make sure to have a fantastic day and peace out.